Just over a million Ugandans are actively saving for retirement through schemes such as the National Social Security Fund or smaller private schemes, says Andrew Kasire, the chairman of Uganda Retirement Benefits Regulatory Authority, UBRA. They have formulated what they call investment regulations. So when this money is, is collected by these um, schemes, where, how do they invest it? We, we have a prescriptive approach, and the CEO will help me here. But there are different asset classes. The tendency here in our culture, you buy land and a house that is a sure deal. It's not a sure deal. I know many people who have retired. They have many plots of land. But they have no money. They can't buy basic sugar, salt, basic With over 15 million Ugandans currently employed in various sectors of the economy, there is fear that in the near future, majority of the employed people may plunge back into the vicious cycle of poverty. It is against this backdrop that Ubra has unveiled Zabu Life, a six-month public sensitization drive. David Nyakundi, the chief executive officer of Ubra, gives an insight into the initiative. That saving for retirement is an obligation which vests on an individual. We only encourage you to remember that there is a need to have money when you retire. When your children have gone away, you are you and your spouse, and you need support, you may not get it from anybody else other than the savings which you had put aside for yourself. So we just want to encourage people to see the need of saving for retirement because you need it when, it, when you are old. Yeah. The value of saving for retirement and preparing for the eventuality of getting older cannot be underestimated. Put simply, regardless of how much money people make, if they spend beyond their income without saving in their golden days, their finances will eventually fall into a downward spiral. Dennis Igoa for UBC Business.